right, welcome back. So he is Wall Street's biggest banker, and in recent years, he has said his heart is Democratic, but his brain is kind of Republican. Today, Jamie Dimon, the head of J.P. Morgan Chase, was pretty crystal clear, though, about the upcoming election, saying he is cautious about the economy, and he offered a couple warnings to Democrats, including this right here. Just take a step back, be honest. He was kind of right about NATO, kind of right about immigration. Mm -hmm. He grew the economy quite well. China, Trade, China ta virus. Tax reform worked. Yeah. He was right about some of China. I don't, th I don't like no, what he did. No, I said China virus. Yeah, I understand. When he, when he, yeah. he may have been right. He, he, and I don't like how he said things about I Mexico. I don't like. But he wasn't wrong about some of these critical issues. And that's why they're voting for him. That's why they're voting for him, Johanna. Yesterday, yesterday we that? were talking about how out of touch Jamie Dimon is. Well, there's, and, there's an element to, like, saying that in Davos, and, and, but just listen exactly, to the words for a exactly. second. I want to I talk mean, about what he said. The Democratic Party is not going to take a lecture from him, you know, overseas on what they're doing. But I've been saying it over and over. I don't like us calling other people MAGA conservatives. Yeah. I think we need to bring the country together. And we were talking a little during the break. It was interesting to see Ron DeSantis try to say he's the candidate to do that last night. He was up on stage in a town hall, essentially making the case he's going to bring our country together. I do think if you have a candidate in the general election who says that, it is going to be the upper hand. Okay, so no, go no, on. I was then I want to say two things. One, um, Secretary of Treasury, maybe. I mean, there's always been like whispers about what his true intentions are. Um, yeah. But no, because I thought he had good points. But I completely agree with you. I hate when both parties call the other parties people. Crazy. Mm -hmm. So he, like the crazies on the right. Well, it's totally crazy. Crazy. It's so here, hold, on, hold that thought for a second, because here was Jamie Dimon uh, also on basically Democrats saying, uh, or there's warning to Democrats on just sort of labeling Trump supporters MAGA. Watch. Democrats have done a pretty good job with the deplorables, but, hugging onto their Bibles and their beer and their guns. I mean, really? Like, can we just stop that stuff and actually grow up and treat other people with respect and listen to them a little bit? Jimmy, and, and I do think the economy will affect. And I think this this negative talk about MAGA is going to hurt Biden's election campaign. Hurt the campaign? I think it does. And it, 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 it hurts the country. And here's why. Is that, look, we, we all attack the other side. I don't like what you're going to do on Social Security. You don't like what I'm going to do on national defense, whatever. But if you win, we can still get along afterwards. If I've called you a fascist yeah. or a Hitler the whole time, which is what some of the Democrats are, that's the language they're it's using now. Both sides are. The fascist I mean, Your former now. boss is kind of doing a little of that, but, too. But how do we get along after that? Exactly. If, you, if you're Jamie Raskin, who's been out there now talking about, you know, MAGA is fascism and House, House Democrat. Democrat. Okay, House Democrat. When Trump wins, is Jamie Raskin voting to certify that election? Or is he mm -hmm. not voting to certify the election? If he doesn't vote to certify the election, does he undermine democracy just as much as all the Republicans he's been complaining about for the last four years? The language is getting out of control. I don't, this, I don't agree with Jamie Diamond very often. The I think he's right right there. You the saw DNC that the Biden administration apologized yes, to Asa so Hutchison. That's what I said. I have it. So yeah. Yeah. That was great. The DNC yeah. stepped in it. They had a response to Asa Hutchinson. They put out, this news comes as a shock to all of us who could have sworn he had already dropped out. And then Jeff Zients, the chief of staff, called him to apologize, Good. and I think that yeah. they need to do more of Very that apology. The, 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 what do you think Jamie Dimon hits on there? So we were talking before about primary versus general, base versus persuadables, uh, as it relates to Trump and his war against the American legal system. Uh, this is the Democrats' version of this. Talking about the threats to democracy, talking about the danger of the fascist tendencies, talking about all those things, juices their numbers with core Democratic groups. And that's how you get dispirited Democrats to the polls. The anti-MAGA is the Democrats' version of MAGA. However, with persuadables, just as Jamie Dimon said, when you get into the general election, they're like, I don't know. I mean, Trump was kind of right about the border. I mean, that's a, it's chaos down there. I don't know. So the 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 problem always, and I just tell you this, it's the electorate's a Mickey Mouse balloon. You got two ears. You want to squeeze this ear, the other ear is going to get bigger. So picking how you're going to hit them and do it so that you don't hurt yourself too much with persuadables in the general election and still fire up your base is hard. And I don't think either party does a particularly good job of persuading anybody. By the way, how helpful has he been to, to Nikki Haley? Because he's supporting and urging folks to, to support Nikki Haley. Yeah, again, I think that goes back to the conversation that we were having about people like Jamie Dimon sometimes in a Republican primary supporting Nikki isn't helpful. Not helpful. 
No. Well, how is it helpful? I mean, it would be from a financial perspective, right. but it's not helpful for a voter when someone in... When Wall Street comes know, in and says, well, and it's vote not this helpful. person? It's not helpful four years down the road. Um, for her. She wants to run again, and now she's got okay. this taint of being the Democrats' favorite candidate. That's not, that's not helpful long term. All right. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.